Hi, hello, I am the Cyber Roof Guru. Thank you so much for watching. Today I have a very exciting video for you. I have received a sample of the QCW frame for the One Infinity from the lovely folks up there, Jen and Mark. And I put it together actually a couple weeks or so ago, but I've had some projects and I didn't want to disturb my machine. So I kind of put it off to the side and decided that I think now is the time to install it. I had a project recently go awry where I was doing some epoxy work here and I inadvertently cut through the bottom of the wood and then I filled it with epoxy not knowing that there were holes there. And the epoxy seeped down into my T-track here and into some of the screws that holds my wasteboard system down. So I have to fix this, so no better time than the present to rip it all out, replace it with the QCW frame provided by Onefinity, and then uh, evaluate and kick the tire. So I'm gonna do a quick montage of the, uh, I guess, frustrating part of ripping all this out, and then a video of the installation process of the QCW, and then we'll talk a little about, about some of its features, some of the things, maybe my initial reactions to it, as well as maybe some things that I might not like about it. I don't know, we'll see. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's rip this out. Let's get the QCW installed, and let's kick the tires. All right, after the first pass, I got most of the wasteboard flattened here. That was a little tedious, so I might come up with a job to do it automatically. But what I will tell you is this part right here is lower than this part by a fair margin. Basically, on this corner here, it stopped flattening all the way back here, then ran out of juice a little bit here, and then here. So the entire thing kind of slopes down this way for one reason or another. I don't know why that would be the case. Either the boards vary in their thickness, 
those boards aren't screwed down as far for some reason or another, which doesn't seem to be the case. Or maybe there's just some variance on these rails for some reason that they're slightly different height. Hard to tell. Might have been an installation thing where if these don't line up properly, they're not quite in the same levelness. But that's okay. That's why we flatten the wasteboard. All right, so I'm going to jump over to Fusion. I'm going to whip up a quick job here to do this work and then try it again. Well, we have it completely finished. It is smooth. There are no ridges, so no worried about tramming, at least in this direction. I have not tried in this direction. Put the straight edge on it. It is completely flat everywhere. I'm sure that won't last long the minute I start cutting on it, but that's my problem, not yours. All right, so we have unboxed it. We have assembled it. We have flattened it. Let's go ahead and talk about the things that I like and the things that I am a little let's say disenfranchised with or things that I think could be better. Okay, so right off the bat, the things I like. It is very well made. It is powder coated like the Onefinity, although it does have a slightly different texture than the Onefinity, I think because this is actually anodized versus powder coated, but nevertheless, the powder coating looks very good and it matches the Onefinity itself. So, next, the construction. It is very beefy. Although it is suspiciously light, I was very surprised by this. It is not heavy at all. It's not like the one Infinity itself, which is very weighty, but it is very well made. It is easy to assemble. It's got just these bolts here on the front side and on the back side to, uh, to attach the rails to the tube systems here. And because it is perfectly designed to fit your one Infinity, the assembly process was very easy. I did have a couple little wrinkles while I was assembling it, which I worked out in the end, and we'll talk about that maybe a little bit later. Okay, so other things that are nice about it, it does have the integrated T-Track systems right here, here, and here. So you can use that for your work holding system. You also have the ability to put threaded inserts or whatever you want inside the wasteboard itself, just like you would do for something if you were to build it yourself. This is Future Tom breaking in. This is the part of the video where I was going to cover some of the things that I found about this beta unit that I did not like. But I reached out to Jenna and Mark and they set me straight. So let's go ahead and talk about some of the things that I noticed on the beta unit that have been fixed on the production unit. First off, the rail system here and the tube system are not in the same plane. And so what that means is you cannot extend your wasteboard uh, beyond this tube system on this beta unit. This has been resolved in the production unit and because of that you can now use the entire cut distance of the Onefinity machine because you can bring that wasteboard forward. The second thing I noticed of this beta unit is that the T-Track system here fit a quarter 20 bolt very nicely. However, the T-bolts that I have for my Rockler clamps do not fit in these T-Tracks. So that is also something that they have resolved whenever they went to full production of this QCW frame. The third thing that I noticed is that to replace these wasteboard uh, inserts here, you have to essentially take your entire machine apart. So I did talk to Onefinity about this, and they said that they are developing a kickstand system that will allow you to essentially prop your machine up without having to take it apart so that you can get access to these wasteboard screws that are on the bottom and then allow you to replace this without completely you know, taking your entire machine apart. So I think that's going to be a really great option, and I look forward to see what they come up in that regard. One other thing that I noticed about the QCW frame that I have here is that the waste boards on the left-hand side and the far right-hand side are narrower than the main section here, and they only have one rail holding them up. So in talking with uh, Onefinity, they did tell me that they added an extra rail system here or some sort of L-bracket or something to hold up these outside waste boards so that they are fully contained on both sides. So I think that's going to make it a lot more robust, and it's really going to help the rigidity of those outside areas. The last thing I want to note about this QCW frame is the width of the wasteboard system itself. 
Now, my preference is to have a slightly narrower waist board so that you have the T-tracks are closer together and you can clamp a little bit easier. So in talking to Onefinity, they did say that they made these waist boards as wide as they are purposefully so that you can add uh, T-bolts and other ways of holding your material down on this wide system. So if it were too narrow, you would have trouble fitting in some uh, T-bolt uh, connectors on the bottom or however you want to hold your material down. So another advantage of having them this wide is you can use the blue tape method. It gives you a lot of surface area to stick the tape down to. So I do see that as an advantage. My personal preference is to have these waste bores just a little bit more narrow, but I can certainly see why having them wide is definitely a good thing for the frame itself. Well, that was the video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun to make. It was super exciting to get one of these products in the early release mode. So I do appreciate Mark and Jen at One Infinity sending me one of these to evaluate, to give my opinions and my thoughts on it. So they are super nice people, and I really hope that you have the opportunity to support them. Maybe picking up a One Infinity or one of these uh, QCW systems. I think that is a very unique space in the market, and they are being really innovative with the way that they're approaching some of these accessories for the machine. Machine. You know, I had uh, my Shape Oco 2 and my X Car for a large number of years, and I will tell you, not a single new product came online for either one of those two products in the almost eight years that I owned them that I just felt that I needed to have. And so this uh, X50 upgrade specifically, and this whole system for the, the cart and the wall hanging, these are things that I could really see myself using in a day-to-day -day work setting, especially if I get the larger X50 that is uh, the Journeyman, which is uh, 48 inches wide, uh, put that on a cart or hang it on the wall in the garage, that would be the perfect location for it, free up some space here in the office. But, so there, uh, you know, I'm really impressed with the company, and so I just thanks to them once again for allowing me the opportunity to evaluate this. All right, so thank you so much for getting this far. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you are not already following me on Instagram, please consider doing so. That's where I post pictures of projects like this become future videos. If you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so. Ringing that bell, very important these days. And don't forget to be inspired. Oh, you dropped your toy. Oh, big stretch. Big stretch. All right, I'm right here, friend. Girl, good girl, come on, good girl. Oh, yeah, so good girl, you look at the camera. You look at the camera. Oh, all right, and the nose. Thank you. It's been like, I don't know, two hours since you looked me in the nose. Oh, I haven't had a good sneeze either. That's good. Oh, thank you so much. You're just a good girl. You're just a good girl. Okay, let it down. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, God bless you. Okay, maybe we need some little playtime, then we'll come back to the video.